As a few of you may know, I recently got myself a TicWatch Pro, and it didn't last very long on stock ROM. I'm not the type of person to leave things on stock, even if it's perfectly fine. <laughs> it goes against the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but it's me. I'll break it. <laughs> Point is, I installed the only custom ROM out there for it by Zhang Zhang. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's amazing. It's so much smoother than stock. It's just really fast. I don't know if I can show this because my camera is like... I'm gonna have to show it upside down. Like, this launches instantly, for example. This. Like, you have to wait for those to show up on stock. And I still can't... I can't get that one right. I think it's from... Oh, there we go. There. And... Yeah. And this shows up instantly, too. And there's no lag while scrolling. Basically, it's just a lot better. Problem is, a few days ago, Zhang Zhang released his Pyron. And anyone who installed it got into an instant boot loop. And, uh, of course... I was going to install it, <laughs> no matter if I got into a boot loop or not, because I knew that the amazing people on XDA <clears throat> would figure something out, and I was right. And I'm going to put all of that into one video for you, so that you don't have to search the forums for it, but I am giving the full credit to the people on the forums. I am not very good with coding in Android myself, I just, I feel like I'm half decent at actually installing the things. Um, I did follow really simple instructions put on someone on the forums, but hey, some people are other video, so here I am making one. And just to show you, I am on Android H, right there. And again, just so much smoother. It's instant. I love it. Um, just a word of warning out there, we still haven't found a way to go fully back to stock and then to stock Pi. So if you ever want to go back to stock Pi, not really possible yet. Also, if you're in a country that doesn't support Android Pay, uh, Android Pay gets completely locked out here on Android H. It completely locks it out. You can't even open it using Google Pay Enabler. It doesn't auto-disable itself, but that's useless because it just says it's not supported in this country. Okay, with all that said, let's move to the actual installing part. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you first have ADB running on your computer. I've also got mesh room running in the background so hopefully that doesn't kill anything um, so here we are I have ADB and then if I do ADB devices you want to make sure you've got ADB debugging enabled on your watch and um, you do that by going into settings about tapping on build number seven times then going into developer options and uh, enabling ADB okay so now what you want to do is you want to do ADB reboot bootloader like so there we go and uh, I need a camera on the watch and this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get the bootloader so from there what you need to do I'm gonna have all the download links down in the description below so what you want to do is you want to type a D no once you're there you want to type fast boot flash recovery and uh, grab the TWRP image like this. Press enter. Okay. There. Press enter. That will finish. So what you want to do now on your watch is press the bottom button and recovery mode and press this. Just like so. Now it's going to boot into recovery hopefully. It looks adorable by the way. The recovery on it looks absolutely adorable. There we go. It is adorable. Okay. What you want to do from there is go wipe, advanced wipe, system, devlic art, cache, data, internal storage. I always do those. All of those. Right, just like so. You want to click back, back again, factory reset, wipe, boom, just like so. And then you want to go into install ADP sideload, just like so. And then on your computer, you want to type ADB sideload. And you want to start sideloading your first file, which in my case will be here, here, Zhang Zhang ROM, 
release nine and you want to flash I believe it's this one enter so this is the one that will produce the boot loop so that's lovely so that will install now so that's it installing there yeah it will go into sleep okay so once that is done what you want to do is you want to press back and then wipe factory reset just reset it again then back again back again install ADB side load install eight install ADB side load start that again then on, on your laptop or computer or whatever you're using ADB side load and then grab update bootloader um, hello there we go so that will update the new bootloader we were told not to play with this but sorry ADB and then what you want to do is ADB reboot bootloader reboot into that new bootloader just like so okay so there we are in the bootloader so now what you want to do is you want to close this one and open up this one this is the one that comes straight from Zhen Zhen. This is the update for the vendor image. And then you want to run Windows or Linux, whichever one you're on, there's two. And that'll run that. I think it'll reboot it again. Yeah, it will. And uh, it'll send vendor. There we go. Then it'll write it. Perfect. So then it'll ask if you want to format all user data. You should say yes, it's recommended. And that's it. That's that's how simple it is. It's not that bad, really. So now we just wait for the watch to reboot and set it up. Hopefully. If it doesn't boot loop now. Okay, so that's the ROM installed, but the thing is, you want to install kernel audio uter. Kernel audio uter lets you change the CPU governor to performance. If you don't do that, it'll be extremely laggy. Believe me, you do not want to use it. So, what you want to do, I forgot to download this, so I'm just going to download it right now. But what you want to do is you want to go on to the forum. That's it. Loads in. Okay, I don't know why that took so long. Um, you want to scroll down here. I'm going to have this down in the description, but just in case. Here we go. And we're going to flash this with Megisk in a sec, because Megisk is also needed. go so you need busybox for this and you need kernel audio -uter. there we go the watch has just booted tap to begin okay I need to switch to my phone now okay so as you will see now there will be major lag on the watch this is completely normal um, I was just downloading the rest of the files that we will need uh, this is going to be like very very bad look at that oh God, okay, I guess I'll just have to wait it out. So, basically what we're trying to do now is we're not trying to do much. We're just trying to get into the settings. Now, we do not want to swipe in any direction because the lag is just... Uh, okay, no. 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 God's sake. Okay, uh... All we're trying to do is we're trying to get into the settings and enable USB debugging because we can do everything else through the PC then. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's go. Settings. Come on. Um, 
system and it crashes yeah it does that so we really need to get that kernel audio router on there there we go okay it's not too bad now we may be in luck build number Start slamming on that we're now a developer perfect developer options and ADB debugging yes perfect so now on your computer you want to do CMD ADB devices so that it asks you for authentication click allow always okay perfect so now you do ADB install and grab that APK that I will have Perfect, so now that that's finished, you should see your kernel audio router app on your watch, but I don't think there's much point in actually trying to open it because right now the lag is just terrible. So ADB, reboot, recovery. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna reboot into recovery now, and we'll wait for that to happen. Okay, so once you're in recovery, you wanna click allow modifications. Again, install, ADB sideload, boom. Then ADB sideload, and you want to sideload that busy box for Android, just like so. So that should go rather fast, to be honest. Awesome. Okay, so after you install BusyBox, you want to reboot, because we can't install Magisk instantly after BusyBox, apparently. It's a thing now. I don't know. So, now that the watch is booted, okay, so you can't actually open kernel audio router without Magisk, so we need to end up rebooting back into recovery. So ADB, reboot, recovery. Okay. So, uh, there we go. So that's going to reboot now. So now that we're back, we want to do ADB sideload again. So ADB sideload and let's do Magisk. There we go. So Magisk will flash itself now. Yeah. To open kernel audio router, and I say attempt because it will lag. So, yeah, it says thank you for being a beta tester. You must have found Magisk. So now we wait. It should ask for root access. There we go. I believe that's the root access trying to show up. There we go. Grant. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to go here into CPU. You want to tick apply on boot, that's important because you want everything that you change here to apply on boot. So you scroll down to CPU governor, click on it, and change it to performance or on demand, which one, whichever one you want. And now we wait a few seconds, possibly even. No, no, it's, it's pretty much instant. There we go. Now it's as smooth as ever can be. Just like that. Performance fixes it all. So, that's it. That's really, as you can see, it's not that bad, especially when you've got the amazing people on XDA doing all of this for you. But uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to put it down in the comments below. I will make sure to do my best to help all of you, even though I'm not a certified developer. Um, but yeah, that's 
that's basically it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If it helps you out, maybe even subscribe. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you again in my next video. Peace.